should say back in 82, 83, I blew away Jake. <laughs> I blew away Jakey Lee back in 82. <laughs> Tony, give me the tone. All right, so there is the flanger tone right there. Welcome back to the Headbangers Hideout. Today's featured guitar tone patch is going to be from J.K. Lee, 1986. This is my Bark at the Moon guitar tone patch ripoff. It's from that era, so this is my J.K. Lee, 1986. We're going to revisit it, make sure we get it right. This was my emulation of the J.K. Lee tone for that album where he did with, I um, forget what it's called, Bark at the Moon album. Now back in the 80s, I knew every riff, every solo, every song back in 83, 84. I knew, I knew it all. But I don't do that no more. <laughs> I forget these riffs, but I love the tone. <laughs> If I don't know how to play Mark at the Moon, you can't come for me. <laughs> I'm gonna give me this tone if you haven't already. Click subscribe, hit that notification bell because we do upload videos every single day. This is one of my earlier guitar and tone patches, and I want to make sure I get it right with all of you. So let's go ahead, look at the screen, and uh, look at the knob positioning as you would a clock if you don't have my exact settings and so forth. Real fast, I'm using the Boss Evan JS10 which has the Boss GT100 effects processor already built into it. So whenever you have stop boxes, rack effects, computer-based software, uh, any of the uh, Fractal Audio Axe Effects 8, 1, 2, 3, the Line 6 Helix, uh, the Spark, whatever you have, uh, just look at the screen, I will get you in the vicinity, and then it's up to you to tweak it and make it sound better, where you can modify it, add a little bit of this, take some of this off, and again, I'm using my custom Tiger, which has DeMarzio Super Distortion pickups. So your results and your ear will vary on your setup, but it's in the ballpark, so at least have some fun. <laughs> Got the riff, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is not a Jake Lee lesson, right? <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and begin. All right, the amp I'm using for this is a Stack Crunch. So, whatever amp model you have, any 4x12 uh, stack amp with high gain will be what you're looking for. And this is a Stack Crunch amp that Boss created for their own amp modeling and they call it stack crunch but it's pretty much a 4x12 uh, combo amp <laughs> person it sounds really really good all right so my gain is at 110 look at the gain if you don't have 110 your yours probably goes to 10 so you want to max out your gain all right and then my effect level is at 62 my bass is at 39 middle at 45 my treble at 62 my presence at 25 again just look at the screen if you don't have number 39 for bass that would be what uh, 11 o'clock on your uh, numbering <laughs> Now you notice on the song there is some flanger to it. This is my 
emulation of this All right, if you don't have this on your screen or on your settings, whatever, it will not affect your tone. It just happens to be in my menu. I have my T comp on, but it's on zero. All right, we're gonna go through this tone really fast. I have no compressor, see the bottom right? So even though you're gonna see the settings for compressor, it's off, so do not use any compressor. Now, what I suggest is dial in as best you can all my settings. Then go ahead and tweak it and take stuff out, add stuff in, play with it, and then make it sound really good for your setup, all right? Again, these are Super DiMarzio pickups, DiMarzio, Super Distortion pickups. You may have passing pickups. You may have really hot pickups. So it's going to sound a little bit different, all right? So again, no compressor. Uh, I am using a clean boost overdrive pedal, a Boss clean boost overdrive pedal, and it's on. But it doesn't matter. I'm not copying Jake. <laughs> oh, I love that tone, right? So I'm using the overdrive clean boost. Whoops. And those are my settings. My drive is at 50, bottom is at minus 10, tone is at plus 5, and effect level for this is at 55. <laughs> So you can't come for me. All right, what's next? I can just hear the comments. Oh, Tony, you're playing. <laughs> Mitch, no, it doesn't matter, Mitch. It doesn't matter if I'm playing this. <laughs> All right, now see my, my noise gate? Listen. You hear it? Let's go ahead and move that to... Uh, as a rule of thumb, normally I always have my noise gate right at 50, 48, 50, 52. <laughs> All right, and we take care of that unwanted noise. So my threshold was at 30. I'm going to bump it up to 50, right, just to get rid of it. Right? Unless you get really crappy jacks or inputs or pickups, noisy pickups. You have to play with that. What, what's next? Uh, you have EQ. I'm going to turn the EQ off really fast. Listen. I'll put the EQ back on. So it's up to you. I'm telling you this. It's up to you if you want to use EQ or not. Because it's in there, but it's subtle. So if you don't want to use EQ, don't use EQ. I have. My low gain is at zero, high gain is at zero, and my effect level for this is at plus one. Next to my EQ chain, my low mid frequency is at 500, low mid Q is at one, and my low mid gain is at zero. <laughs> It sounds really good, it sounds really close to it, so it's fun to jam along to the album. Right? What's next in my EQ? My high mid frequency is at 4.0, my high mid Q is at 1, and my high mid gain is at 0. <laughs> Yeah, you get the 
yeah, yeah. And lastly, my high, my low cut and my high cut on my ET was flat. All right, now we're gonna get into the meat potatoes. Obviously, uh, throughout that whole album, Mark at the Moon, he uses heavy flanger, and so it's a, it's a fun tone. Real fast, if I turn the flanger off. <laughs> This tone sounds good already without a flanger. So if you want to lock this in, once you're all done, take the flanger off and then save it as another tone patch, you can do it. So I'm just telling you what I would do. If you wanted to, once you lock it in with the flanger tone, the JT Lee tone, come back, just turn off the flanger, and then save it and rename it as something else, and you'll have two tones if you, if you want to do that. sounds good without a flanger. All right, but I'm using a flanger, the Jake Lee flanger. It's in there, right? Let's go ahead. These are my flanger settings. My rate is at 28, my depth is at 50, my resonance is at 8, and my manual is at 56. <laughs> Oh, real fast, back in the 80s, when new bands came out, or when bands came out with their latest album, remember there was no internet, so you bought cassette tapes, uh, there was no CDs that either, that wasn't until 87, so you would buy cassette tapes all through the 80s, or, or your albums, and then you play the album over and over and over, and you learn every single song, every riff, every solo. This is back in the 80s. Uh, I'm a little bit too old to be playing copycat, but back then it was a lot of fun. And back then you knew every Judas Priest album, you knew every Scorpions album, every Rat album, you, knew, you just knew it. Because that's what you did back in the 80s. <laughs> As a guitar player, you would learn, try to learn every single song, every riff, and every solo as best you could, so you can show off to your friends. That's what you did back in the 80s. Or if you were a cover band, you had to learn it. So, I just forgot the songs now. You could say back in 82, 83, I blew away Jake. <laughs> I blew away Jake and Lee back in 80. <laughs> well, Tony, give me the tone. All right, so there's the flanger tone right there. So... You do know my channel is Comic Relief. All right. Now, whether Jake Lee uses delay or not, I do it just to fill the space. Listen, when I turn the delay off. Now, this tone already sounds good without a delay. So, again, you want to lock in the Jake Lee tone as is. Come back to it, remove the flanger, lock that in as a separate tone. You want to also turn off the delay. Uh, you can do that also. Now my delay is at 470 milliseconds, feedback at 16, high kit at 5.00, and my effect level is at 80. Now you may think that's too much delay, but it may be so. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Let's we're going to play with the effect level. Look. Now, if that's too much for you, all you got to do, uh, you just come back and you just play with your own numbering based on your setup. See, it's in there, but it's less. It was at 80, now it's at 66. And if you want even less, you can put it at 50%. Remember I had mine at 80? So here's the Jake Lee delay at 50. Nice, right? It's hidden and subtle. 
Now the delay is so quick and faded, it's not going to fill the space. I, for my tone, I have an 80. But this is where you come in. Oh, tone has too much uh, effect level. Then tweak it. These tones are yours to play with and to make them better. I'm just pretending you got drums in the bass player. You're going to jam with it or play with the record. It's going to fill the space. <laughs> up to you with the with the uh, delay play with your effect level all right we're on the last parameter here um i have reverb you don't want to use reverb but it's up to you i'm using room and again you may have a whole bunch of reverbs to choose from i only have five with the boss e-band i got plate room ambient hall and i think that's it yeah amp ambient room plate and hall that's all i have so i got four i think and you may have like 15 20 whatever so play with your reverb type. My reverb time is at 1.7, high cut at 2.00, and my effect level is at 50. If I turn the reverb off, here it is. I put it back on. My Jake Lee 1986 guitar tone. You want to call it Mark at the Moon, Ozzy Osbourne, Jake Lee 86 or 84, 83. That's up to you. Call it whatever you like to. But mine is, just happens to be called Jake Lee 86. That is my tone. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, let me know. Leave them below. Uh, again, these are yours. They're free. And it's going to sound different through your setup. But it should be in the same vicinity. But you, uh, tweak it to your liking, make it sound better to you. You may not like what you hear through their speakers and so forth. That's why you want to tweak it and make sure it sounds really good to you. But it may give you a building block to, oh, I can make it sound better. And that's where you come in. I am not going to be offended if you're like, oh, Tony, your tone was blah, blah, blah. And I had to make it better. <laughs> make it better. Okay, because it's going to be for you. Only you're going to hear your tone or your band, or whatever, and that's totally fine. You want to jam and have fun. All right, if you haven't already, click subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thanks everybody for watching and sharing this video with me, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.